Sometimes you just need to go to Disney World on a day's notice. Mr. Cheesy Pop! Hey everyone, it's Max. That's a suitcase. I'm going to Disney World. Tonight. When did I decide this? Last night. Ellie and I were just uh, talking about how we still haven't been to Disney World together. And uh, how we basically had no time except for this week. And so we were like... Let's go to Disney World. <laughs> there, there was no other choice. And so we booked it, booked the flights, packing today, leaving tonight. Is it crazy? Yes. Should more people do things like this? Yes. And I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'm packing up stuff. This is going to be a really interesting trip because Disney World is such like a planner, planner, planner trip. And I'm going into this with no plans. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens on this trip with a Disney World trip with no plans and just kind of winging it. And you know, the genie thing just came out too. I, so I don't know what kind of videos I'm going to be making for you guys. The priority of my trip is me and Allie and we actually get to be in Disney World together. That's priority. Uh, so we'll see what happens and what videos I make. I don't know what I'm doing. We don't know where we're going. This is great. Oh, hi, I'm at Disney World. It's magic. <laughs> uh, hi, yes, uh, we're here. Disney World, Caribbean Beach. Um, and what I did on the Magical Express on the way over here was I booked my first lightning lane ever. Uh, we're going to the Magic Kingdom this morning and I was like, all right, let me try this thing. We're gonna buy Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Buying the whole train. I mean, for the cost of it, you might as well be buying the whole train. <laughs> Today it was 10 bucks to buy uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train uh, to skip the line, and we're doing that. When we get to the Magic Kingdom, I'll, I will show you what the Lightning Lane looks like. My first Lightning Lane, it's so exciting. Also, running on no sleep, this is great. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Oh, we're here. Hey, Stitch. So funny. Hi, we're here at the Magic Kingdom Seven Dwarfs Mine Train to use our Lightning Lane return time. I think that's what you call it. Yeah, I think so. All right, so you see there it says 70 minutes for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So we will be skipping that. The question you have to ask yourself is, is it worth it when you come to pay the extra money and skip the line. I, I mean, it, it, it's just your priorities. I mean, for me today, skipping a 70 minute wait, very much worth it. Okay. Hello. Yay, that was easy. It's no different than a fast pass, folks, except it just costs you money. That's how it works now. The entire experience, by the way, took uh, nine minutes from when I scanned into when I got off the ride. So is Lightning Lane worth it? The paid Lightning Lane, which they call individual Lightning Lane. Yeah, there's no good name. Is it worth it? It's worth it because it was a 70 minute wait. So welcome to Steakhouse 71. Oh, hi, it's time for Disney Enchantment. I realize this video is a little bit of a mess, but the purpose of my trip is really not to make videos, it's actually vacation. What? Can you believe it? I will be making videos, as you can see, this is a video. I just don't know the structure of it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we didn't have plans coming in because we literally decided 36 hours before. So we're just going to see how it all goes. There will be a video or videos from this trip but it's enchantment time, and I'm gonna go enjoy it for the first time ever. Bonjour, good morning. It's day two of our trip. I realized that yesterday I never even signed off properly because after Disney Enchantment, I was so disenchanted. <laughs> that show is not that good. I don't know what's going on there. Whoa. Wow. Uh, hopefully Harmonious is better. We'll see that tonight. Uh, so today is gonna be a food and wine day. Um, but I'm gonna really enjoy it for the most part. So you might not see too much video because I just want to enjoy it with Allie. And yeah, 
So we'll see what I show you. I don't know. Hi friends. So we're uh, in China currently. About to have some dumplings and a, a beer from China actually. Jasmine beer, right? Jasmine beer? Yeah. Um, we were in Mexico, we went to La Cava del Tequila, which is uh, one of my favorite spots ever, and it was just so great to be there with Allie, and uh, it was awesome. So, we're gonna eat some dumplings, having a great day here, at the World Showcase. By the way, if you're in China, get the dumplings, and also get this jasmine beer. It's delicious. It tastes like, it's like this, this floral, I, sorry, I had an avocado margarita before this, so... <laughs> Just... <laughs> We're at the new Rotunda area, and it's indoors, where Voices of Liberty usually performs. We took the stage now. It's our, it's our stage now. Do I have to start singing uh, patriotic songs? No. no. Um, look at that. Mushroom tart and a chilled crab and avocado with caviar. We're going to Space 220! This is so cool! <laughs> I just got out of um, Space 220, which you'll see in another video, but like... This! We're gonna see Harmonious tonight, but like these beacons of light put the enchantment show at the Magic Kingdom to shame, okay? <laughs> oh, hi! It's day three of our trip. We're in Animal Kingdom, about to see Kite Tails, and I'm so excited to see this. So excited. By the way, really enjoyed Harmonious. I thought it was really good, actually. Harmonious, way better than enchantment. And now we'll see how this is. Welcome to Hollywood Studios. Look at the Starbucks items. Look at how beautiful these 50th pumpkins are. And this 50th pineapple, whoa. Can't forget about the carrot cake cookie. And this is the 50th pineapple mousse with matcha sponge cake. Wow, that's so pretty. I realize I have not really added to the video. I've just really been enjoying my time, but I am here to tell you that Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is wonderful and I love it so much and I love what they've done with this area, the detail, the buildings, how they're worn, all the French little details, the bottles of wine in the windows, the macarons. I'm just having such a great time. This is great. So pretty back here. And I'm back home. Okay, that was the most disjointed vlog ever, but I wanted to put it out just as like the intro to the Disney World videos that will follow because you are going to get uh, a bunch of Disney World videos in a row from new restaurants with Genie Plus. So you're gonna get a few coming up, but really for the most part, as you could tell from this video you just watched, this trip was a vacation and actually like the first Disney World vacation where I wasn't like doing work a lot. Um, and it felt great. And I, I hope that uh, it can also inspire you guys if you're ever thinking of just like taking a leap and doing something that seems crazy, but is feasible to maybe do it. Cause we did and it was really such an incredible week. And uh, I can't wait to, show you some of my adventures that I had. Not all of them because this was a vacation, but uh, you are going to get to see me eat at a few new places and use the Genie Plus. So stay tuned for those videos. They are coming soon. Uh, thanks for watching this. I can't wait to show you more. Uh, like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody. Bye.